What is up YouTube? Welcome to this Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. The Patriot review. Now this episode was incredibly hyped just because we were going to learn just what the brand new director of S.H.I.E.L.D. really was because they were hyping a brand new secret and in this episode we actually found out what this new secret is all about. So it turns out that, well, he's not actually an inhuman. So not too much of a shock there because I wasn't really expecting him to actually be an inhuman. But that would have been pretty interesting to see if he actually was. However, it does look like he has got a super serum, the one that was used by Daisy's father. Now this does also remind me of just what's going on in the Miles Morales Spider-Man comics because Miles Morales' father has actually been tasked with infiltrating a ring and sorting out a rogue shield agent. But it turns out it's actually the Black Cat, but then it turns out it's not. And it turns out that he's actually hired for a job. So a little bit of a crossover there, not a huge Easter egg, really, because we've seen this serum in the show before, but it's also similar to the Project Rebirth, where they were using the Super Serum on people, and also, again, a crossover with Luke Cage. We also have the Judas Bullet here, again, as the assassination attempt takes place, and the director throws the actual lectern thing up in the air and it explodes so neat little thing there to say the least so while the reveal wasn't really what i was expecting and wasn't really a good reveal in my opinion it was a decent storytelling thing because now we know he's not super powered and well he's just a complete puppet and a fraud but they seem to somehow be letting him do what he's doing and carry on because, well, they need a face for S.H.I.E.L.D. after those events of the Winter Soldier and also the threat of the Inhumans. So we've also got the Watchdogs in this episode, which is currently being the sub-arc. Uh, or, as I said last week, I'm not sure what the sub-arc is here because we've got the LMD in the background but they're actively dealing with all of the watchdogs. So a pretty decent episode, actually, to be honest. I did actually really enjoy it. And it's strange that they're moving so rapidly different to the second storyline of this season. I do miss Ghost Rider, I think, but the whole LMD thing at the moment and what's going on with Agent May was actually really interesting. I like the fact that she escaped and fought Ada and was able to somehow stabilise herself and realise that this is all completely fake because, well, she's a warrior, a fighter, and now she needs someone to actually fight against to have her mind active. Now, the fake Agent May has realised that she seems to be a robot, which will be a very, very weird story. There will she work out what's going on and then turn on her creators. That's something we'll just have to wait and see and see how that plays out. We've got Fitz having Ada secretly in the morgue and trying to work out just what went wrong with her. So that's only going to end badly, in my opinion, for him. So he wants to work out why she went rogue. Who knows? Maybe he will actually work out that someone is behind there pulling her strings. So unlike Ultron, you will find strings on her. But I'm looking forward to a secret showdown, some kind of OMAC project thing. And Fitz the Blue Beetle goes and finds out just what is going on. But next week, I'm excited to see how this goes on. We've got the return of The Flash, Supergirl, Legends of Tomorrow, and all those shows back next week. So I'm going to be doing reviews for those, but Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. 
is looking very, very promising as we move from what I perceive to be a very, very exciting storyline, a fantastic storyline of having Ghost Rider in at this show. But they move on to something a bit different and a bit safe, I would say. So I think that this shift in storytelling and narrative is actually going quite well, albeit it's quite similar to the Inhumans storyline from last season. But then again, S.H.I.E.L.D. actually is more of a ground level organisation, kind of, you could say. So I guess this storyline fits them a bit more than maybe the Ghost Rider storyline. But that's it for this video. Please do drop a like. Please do subscribe. See you soon. Goodbye.